Hello, my name is Nick, and welcome to Watch This Now. The Aeronauts is an adventure drama directed by Tom Harper that stars Felicity Jones and Eddie Redmayne as a pilot and meteorologist who set out to fly higher than anyone has before in a hot air balloon. The film is set in 1862, and it's based on real events, but it's a movie, so don't expect historical accuracy. Redmayne's character is based on a real man, but Jones's character is based on several women from that time. So this is the Aeronauts. Our two characters hop in a hot air balloon to study weather and altitude and all that stuff. Felicity Jones is so good as Amelia, a pilot with daring hot air balloon skills. Eddie Redmayne is also really good as James, a meteorologist with plenty to prove with this experiment here. Now, I was not the biggest fan of the theory of everything. I know a lot of people think it's a great movie, whatever. But the chemistry of these two actors was so good in that, I'm so glad to see them reteam in this film. They do such a good job playing off of one another. We totally have to buy that these two are trying to save each other's lives throughout the film, and they do such a good job of connecting. And I really liked that they didn't just lean on them having a romantic angle. Like, look at how they fell in love on this hot air balloon trip where they nearly died like 17,000 times. I love an adventure film with high stakes, but I also have a severe fear of heights, and there were sequences in this film that had not just my hands sweating, but then my damn feet were sweating. I had a full body reaction to this film. So maybe it will be more intense for me than you. You might not find it to be as big of a deal, but I thought this film was really intense at times. And you're thinking, well, they can't die, they have to make it, right? Well, there are so many parts throughout this film where I was like, oh wait, I don't know, I don't know about that. <laughs> I really like the look of the film too. While it does feel like, oh sure, they're probably just up against a green screen for, you know, however long it took to shoot this, I think the special effects look really good and do a really good job of making you believe that we're up in the clouds for this entire film. And I think that's thanks to mostly director Tom Harper, who I think just does such a good job with this film. That was what I got out of this, was just that it was so well directed. There were parts that I thought could have and not worked so much, but the strong execution really drives this one home. And it might, you know, I might revisit this one because of that. The only thing really pulling away from me was that I think the script makes some issues with trying to develop these characters more. Because we start out with our characters going straight into the hot air balloon and getting up into the sky. And then we do flashbacks to kind of show how they got there. And I was just like, I don't care. Like Felicity Jones has an interesting story because uh, how she lost her husband and the way that they play that out, I, I ended up really liking. But I pretty much would have been fine with like one flashback. I, I would have been fine with just the one for her. Everything about Eddie Redmayne's character, it's just about him trying to prove that he's gonna learn stuff by going up in the balloon and I'm like, blah, 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 who cares about who funded the hot air balloon? You started the movie with us in the hot air balloon. I got it right off the bat. He has to prove to the guy who funded this whole thing that it was worth it. I already got that. I didn't need the backstory. And that's the thing, it just did, was not needed. I prefer a longer movie if you've got story to tell and you've got plenty of material to give me. But this movie functions best when it's just dealing with our characters in perilous situations up in the sky. I honestly think you could have shaved like 20 minutes off this movie and it would have been a lean, mean adventure thriller that I would have fallen in love with completely. That being said, I'm still putting the Aeronauts on my favorites list for 2019 because it just did it for me. There were parts that I could have done without, but the parts that were effective were very effective. I have not had such a visceral experience watching a film outside of the movie theater in a very long time. I really enjoyed this one and I highly recommend watching it. If you've got an afternoon to kill and you've got Amazon Prime and you need a movie to watch, you should turn on the Aeronauts. I'm giving it a 3.5 out of 5. If it weren't for those pesky story elements that were weighing it down, this would be an easy 4 out of 5 for me. Thank you so much for watching this video. I greatly appreciate it. Like it, share it with your friends, and hit the comments below to let me know what you're watching on Amazon Prime. Thanks again, and I'll see you in my next video.